Hello everyone, my name is Ehun Nguyen from Tenmin University in Vietnam. So today I would like to share with you the topic of land use, land cover change prediction using multi-temporal daylight imagery and multi-layer protectron knockoff. Um, so this topic is a part of our project founded by USET, USET ID. He is the one of several topics that I want to share with you today. So the presentation is divided into four parts which are introduction the second material and method result and discussion and the final part will be discussions sorry conclusions so let's jump into the introduction so we will have um lulcc is relevant to human activities have cost the dynamics of biological and geochemical process on Earth's surface. And um, the data is applicable for natural resources management and recommendation for societal economic growth. Um, so to understand the chain, chain of LUSC is needed is um, needed in sustainable resource management and uh, remote sensor and GIS are fundamental tools to obtaining accurate spatial data of LUAC and detecting the spatial alternations. And finally, many studies have approved the effectiveness of the MLP, Markov model in predicting future LUACC. And um, so for this research, um, we were working on Dagnon province, which has a high diversity of natural forest resources in the central highlands of Vietnam. So in the recent year, this area has experienced a bust in population growth causing natural forest degradation. And the local management mechanism have exposed issues such as deforestation and encroachment led to decline forest cover in the province. Therefore, there's a crucial need for analysis of LUSC change over time and prediction on the future chain of land use transformation. So, um, and then we use the combination of multi-layer perceptron neural network with the Markov model is uh, to apply to the detect temporal change and model future spatial distribution of different land uses. So it hasn't considered to analyze this in a systematically way. The analysis of the changes as a basis for LUSCC uh, strategies in the future has not been done in the, this area. So to understand the change, the change of the changes in the past and current is really important for making proper decision in the future to develop in a sustainable way to avoid the devastation or any issue that's going on right now. So for the materials and methods, I want to talk about the area that we work on in this research with the Dagnum province that I talked about in the last slide. So Dagnum is um, located in the central highlands of Vietnam and uh, its area is covered uh, around 6,500 kilometers square and it has a population of more than 600 and 600,000 people in which 65% Kin and the remaining ethnic minorities from other 40 groups. But actually, in the 30 years ago, there were just only two to three groups of minor minorities. But in the recent year, a lot more groups have moved to that non province from the north side of Vietnam to do for living. So, for the data uh, we use for the Research we do the lens of five and a in 2010, 2015, and 2018, and then we also have a lot of picture involved in this research too. So, based on the quality of the images and our purposes, there are ten land use land cover classes were discriminated, including evergreen grove leaf forest, semi evergreen evergreen forest, little carp forest, plantation forest, mature rubber, perennial industrial plants, crop cropland, residential area, 
where the surface and finally are the lands include all the types of grassland, shrubs, bayland, unplanned land, abandoned land and so on. So we have a sample here. So about the sample for image classification, the sample were randomly distributed on the whole area. These samples were interpreted based on few data collection, Google Earth existence forest map, Landsat, satellite images where the sample are discriminated against other based on our experience. So I would like to show you the map of our method that we used in the research. So we have the Landsat in 3 years, 2009, 2015, 2018. And then so we have to use the training and validation samples um, with the random forest classifier to classify those images in 3 years to LUFC 2009, LUFC 2015, and LUFC 2018. And then we also use the driving maps which are proximity to road, water surface, elevation, and slope. And then we use the multi-layer perceptron, neural network, and market model to um, can so that we can create the predated LUFC 2018. And then we have to compare the predated, the predated one with the LUFC 2018. And then we have to validate those images to get the predated LUFC in 2025. So here is the result and the discussion. So in this chart, we can see OA for all classified images range from 77.35% to 84, around 84%, with a copper from 0.75 to 0.81. And then the 20, uh, 2015 uh, LUFC map had the highest accuracy of OA, which is a, about 85% with copper 0.81. And the lowest is 77. Point uh, of 77.35 percent in 2009 with a couple of 0 0.75 which is the lowest and the PA and UH representative for uh, above 65 percent 30 percent sorry And comparing actual LUFC 2018 and predicted it show more most different was from plantation first within 15% followed by the residential which is a 10% and less different were evergreen forest So this is the map, the LUFC map projected for 2025 and the change scale in the diagram on the right side. That is, those are all the conclusions that we took from the research that we have done. And I just want to say thanks to the PIC program which is sponsored by USAT and local authorities, Tingling University and collaborative research partners um, that have helped me to get this research done. Thank you for listening.